predictions for the English Premier League on the 25th of April 2021 a continuation of yesterday's video with the final three matches of the game week so firstly at 12 o'clock midday so I'm a bit late recording this because it's a bit late to get any bets on because uh, it's 10 to 12 but Wolves versus Burnley so Poisson is predicting here a Wolves win and it's quite a, a healthy percentage 77.65% which would equate at us looking for odds of 1.29 if we were value betting and on Betfair at the time of recording Wolves could be had at 2.34 so that's a massive opportunity for a value bet to back the home favourite there uh, if we're looking at score lines we're looking at 1-0, 2-0 or 3-0 offering good value um, Burnley not good on their travels and not scoring a lot of goals uh, you could also look at the both teams to score no market um, I don't know if the value is brilliant on there but it's something that you could certainly explore I haven't looked into that market myself it's not one that I use very often uh, secondly I think it's 2 o'clock kickoff Leeds versus Man United big game in the Premier League today so this one suggests a home win of 37% uh, and a away win of 39% so looking at prediction of a Man United win a narrow Man United win though and with it being a derby and with Leeds being at home first season back in the Premier League I'd be looking to back Leeds uh, for a win here Betfair have got them at 4.30 and if we look at the odds here they're, we're getting predicted at the odds we should be looking for are 2.66 so there's massive value on Leeds I'm not saying they will win but if you're certainly looking for a trading perspective um, you might want to get involved at that and watch it drop depending on how the game goes the odds on Leeds might drop if they get a fast start if they get an early goal even if Man United came back to win as they often do it might be worth trading out after Leeds score if they do get the first goal and I'd certainly, I'm certainly interested in 4.30 as being a very very generous price for Leeds um, you do have to take into account the motivation factor of Man United still wanting the points to finish second but when it comes to a derby I think the motivation is there for both teams so I wouldn't be too worried about that and I think Leeds definitely look attractive Purely on the figures, on the on the stats, if you're looking for scores, one one two one or one two, uh, and that's they're my favourite score lines to back actually, when I'm doing spread betting on the uh, on the scores because it means you don't have to pick a winner, and in derby games it's often difficult to pick a winner. So one one two one or one two, you don't care who scores the first goal, you don't even necessarily care who scores the second goal. You're still in with a shout. So I think that's a really good bet to have a look at. The final late game today is Villa versus West Brom, another derby. Um, the stats here are heavily in Villa's favour as you'd probably expect um, but on Betfair they're still at 2.10 at the time of recording to win which anything above evens for Villa to win this game according to the stats where we should only be looking for 1.18 there's an 85% chance of them winning massive value so I'd weigh in on Villa winning on this one still get some good value score wise you could probably make uh, a decent return 3-0, 3-1 or 4-1 trade in this game as the game goes on if Villa get an early goal you'll see the 3-0 score quickly come down and it might even be time to cash out after one goal um, at the same time if the baggage get an early goal you're still not out of the bet because we've got the 3-1 three, three and 4-1 and Villa could come back and with West Brom's confidence probably going to be suffering you know you wouldn't write out write off a 3-1 a or a 4-1 comeback so I think that would be the angle I'd be looking at and that's it for today, only three games. Um, as I've mentioned before, please do hit subscribe and comment below on any topics you'd like me to cover on uh, future videos so that we can make sure we're getting the content that you want. Thanks very much. Good luck.